What's going on, Success Factors friends? So you heard that Success Factor is migrating the pick list into the new uh, metadata framework. What does it mean for all of us in Success Factors? How are clients affected? Today we have uh, our Success Factors consultant Nicola from Focus One that will take us through the process and what it means for all of us. Welcome to the Success Factor Club. My name is Simone Zanetti. Check it. As we all know, SAP Success Factors is migrating the legacy pick list to one common framework built on the metadata framework. Sounds good, and I guess it's mandatory, but uh, you might ask yourself, what does it mean to me as a client, right? SAP Success Factors is doing many migrations with no to little involvement of the client. Well, little involvement doesn't mean no involvement. So let's see what Success Factors clients have to do. SAP Success Factors will contact the client directly, informing them of the exact date on when the migration will take place. Migration is based on the complexity of your system. Preview will be done first, and then a month later, production will be done. Wait, 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 before we get migrated, is there any data conflict or issues that we need to be aware of? Data issues can be resolved by an administrator using the temporary migration tool. The tool is designed to support the migration process. Other data issues can be resolved by exporting the Picklers out of Picklers Manager and correcting them offline. All of your issues need to be resolved on preview stage production before the migration process can continue. Okay, that sounds reasonable, but is there any downtime or restrictions that we might expect? There's no risk in doing the Picklers migration. The only restriction that can be seen as is Picklers Center and MDF only supports 50,000 entries or options in the pick list. Migration will be done after business hours for each data center. The only thing that SAP recommends is that you do not export or import any pick list during the migration process. Okay, we understand what admins have to do, but is there any impact on the final user and is there any XML configuration required? There should not be any functional impact on the end user as the same rules will apply. There's no configuration in the XML to be done. Okay, so after the migration, what are the users and the manager going to expect in terms of change? Will they see any change? There should not be any change for the user as the functionality still stay the same. For a manager, it's slightly different in process as the picklist will be maintained within the picklist center. One of the advantages for migrating your picklist is everything is effective dated and everything is maintained in one single place. Something to note after the migration is picklist management tool and the merge tool will no longer be available. As a client, how do I know if I've been migrated? Well, if my success factors system has been migrated into the new pick list. There are two ways in checking if you've been migrated. First of all, you can go to your admin center, find the platform feature setting. If the unified platform management tick box have been ticked, then you are migrated. Okay, and is there any other method? Well, you can go to your admin center in the search bar. You can search for pick list center. If pick list center pops up, then you are migrated. Thank you, Nicola, and thank you very much for watching. If you are interested in this kind of content, uh, remember to subscribe on the Success Factor Club channel. This episode has been brought to you by Talento One, all the power of Success Factor with a small monthly fee. Uh, if you want to check our sponsors, follow the link in the description below. And if you have any questions on Success Factors, just contact us at focus.one slash successfactors. See you in the cloud.